Former Fresh Prince of Bel-Air actress Janet Hubert was hospitalized. And although she didn't reveal the reason behind her hospital stay, Hubert talked about anger and what it can do to you in a now deleted post. Hubert shared a throwback photo of her and Will Smith from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion show with this caption. Don't waste precious time, people, in anger. Yes, people will do you wrong. And you must fight for truth no matter how long. And if you can get the truth, you seek find love again as we have. Life is too short. As I am in the hospital, I write this to all of you. Holding on to anger will eat you alive, but truth at any cost. Now she continued with, reputation is priceless. I love you, Will, for being strong enough to tell the truth and share your hurts and trauma. Now we close the doors and live our lives. What do y'all think this post was about? And why do you do you think, and why is it so important to let things go? Oh, I think when you hold things inside, that's that's what causes cancer. That's what eat away at your spirit and your soul and your insides and intestines and your spirit. You know what I mean? It's like, it, you know, it's great to be able to, you know, release and hear your truth because that helps you get over it. It gives you closure on whatever it is because you don't have to agree. You know what I mean? But I think that if you know that your heart is in the right place with a, a an apology or with an acceptance of I messed up and I didn't mean it. I didn't know that maybe won't happen again. Something else might happen, but this won't happen again. Thanks for teaching me. Thanks for showing me. You know what I mean? I think there's a release in that. There's a, there's a maturity in that, that happens. Okay. Um, I you know, I feel you. I, I think the, I think one of the messages too, I agree with everything Lisa Ray said, of course. Um, but because it's, it's, it's facts. But I think another one of the lessons here is don't wait until you get that apology in order to release yourself. You know, she, it's almost like she was saying, it's now that Will wrote his book and then he told the true story in his book about what happened, you know, with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and him and her, because she was giving it to him just recently down to the pandemic, she was going in on him. They were upset at each other. And so she's saying, you know, that that anger ate her up and put her in the hospital. But it's not until now that she really realized she was able to kind of release it because I feel like because of that apology. So her message is don't wait for that apology. Forgiveness mm-hmm. is for you. When it starts to be uh, toxic inside of you, work on forgiveness at that point. Let it go at that point because Letting things go and giving it over to God is stress is a stress release. That's a stress release. And stress can put you in the hospital. But I think sometimes it takes people, sometimes people need closure. Some people need that that piece to the puzzle to be able to go, oh, okay, now I understand. Or now right, I but what, if, what if you never get that closure? Then what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Try to forget, <laughs> I guess. You know what I mean? Or, or, or try to give and move on, I guess. Vivica, what do you think about this? I have a definitely a different opinion about this because, you know, I am one that when uh, people disappoint me constantly, um, that I call it seasons of shedding, that everyone is not meant to go into the next chapter of your life, that sometimes you know, there's a reason for that season. There's a reason why they have those sayings as well, too. Um, You know, it's sad for her that it takes for her to be in the hospital, for her to come to the point and go, oh my gosh, don't hold on to it for so long. Well, baby, how long did you hold on to it? You know, and and there were people reaching out, trying to um, take her to a victory and trying to tell her, you know, this is the way things went down. So, you know, I, you know, but you I mean, know, she but felt I, like Will condemned her entire career. She felt she felt what was it, black ball? But, but mm-hmm. every action has a reaction. Mm-hmm. Well, even if I, now here's the thing that is true. I feel like people are in your life for a reason in a season. Um, there are, pe- but there are people that I have forgiven. But that doesn't mean I'm going to still I deal with you. Absolutely, I no, I can, and, and I can. Forget it even. That just don't mean don't. I'm going to deal with you. Like, I, that, that's like, that's like if I had, if I worked with someone who totally played me and did me wrong. And then after some time, because it takes time to forgive, because you got to wrestle with yourself on that. Agree. Then let's say you forgive it and you let go. That would be foolish of me to say, now let me go work back with them again. That's stupid because maybe they haven't healed and maybe they have been going through a trauma that they have not 
uh, recognized at that time at, at the when they're supposed to. So why would you walk back into a trauma and keep getting re hurt again and again? That's that's first time shame on them. Second time is shame on you. Yes, I had to get to a place in my life. And I learned this lesson when I did Celebrity Apprentice. I learned think, something about myself that I it's hard for me to take my personal feelings out of business. Mm. And it was jamming me up at work. It was jamming me up with opportunities because I would cut things off and be like, nope, that's a wrap. And as idealistic as that is, like, you know, that's the way we want to be. It was, it was definitely stopping a lot of my blessings because I was stubborn in my own way. You know, so finding the balance where you're like, Cause I, 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 I've dealt with, well, we all have dealt with people where we're like, I don't really rock with you like that anymore. And you showed your whole entire ass to me. So now I'll never trust you on a personal level, but I will work with you and I won't shoot my foot at my own, myself in the foot to not get this money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it sucks, but like find that balance where you're not so emotional where you're like F everybody. And I'm not working with anybody. Like I'm, I'm one, one striking her out and Finding a place where you're comfortable, where you could find that space. I had to like get myself out of that space. It was so hard though. It's so hard. Don't you yeah, think Claudia, it's- There's also an old saying that you're not going to like everybody that you work with. But business That's true. Business. That's true. Yep, Fact. you're right. You're right. And sometimes in that too, you can find a, a lesson in that as well. Because yeah. like you say, you don't have, you're not going to like everybody you work with, but something about that relationship can teach you something as well to move forward. Facts. And also you have to be careful who you allow into your your friend space? Yes. you have to do a uh, you have to do a better job just in general people, not not anyone in particular. But we have to do a better job compartmentalizing folk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this one is down to the associate closet. Okay, this one is cool. <laughs> we'll off a drink after work with this one. This one I might be able to catch a movie with. You know, you got to know the audience. You got to know. You got to be able to. Let me tell you, they mad when they when you put them in certain places and they Let's want go. to be more. Why right. you still have a problem? You know what but I mean? You like, know, yeah, I'm gonna call you when I call you. We get together. It is what it is. What is it? I'm busy. That's I still you know they belong, they going belong on. in the room. That's why they. That's why you, you know they belong in that room. Can I tell you the thing that <laughs> also know? gives me a little bit of red flags about her statement? And I hope she's not ill at health. I know Janet, um, and she's been through a lot. She really has. But you know, you just have to watch people that do passive aggressive movements and plays mm-hmm. you know what i mean that is like you would rah 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 and now it's like you know i the per, what irritates me more than anything else about someone is someone that's passive aggressive because that means i just cannot trust you um i don't know your manipulation what you may be doing to try to you know get attention to yourself that's yep. unnecessary uh, now it's awfully ironic that his book comes out. So, you know, you just have to watch people. Timing is everything. And I will say this. And before we move on, I know we've been spending a lot of time in the story. When you're going up against a more powerful, more famous person, mm-hmm. you're going to be painted any old kind of way. And you're going to look like a problem no matter what. She might be very well telling the truth about a lot of things. But guess what? He's Will and she's Janet. And people will sit there and be like, she's crazy. She's the problem. That's why she ain't work. And, you know, yeah. when you go up against a black a, woman and, and you first. Yeah. First of all, don't be a black woman to have an opinion. Be mad Get about something. OK, you are, you are. They're already waiting for that nonsense. Agreed. Waiting on G waiting on O. 